Deputies returned to this wooded area to continue to search for key pieces of evidence in their investigation. Joaquin Blackwell's restraints and the service weapon they say he used to kill Deputy James Blair. Joaquin Blackwell was heavily shackled and guarded as he entered Simpson County Court for his first appearance. He barely whispered as a judge ordered Blackwell to be held without bond for the Friday shooting death of 77-year-old Deputy James Blair. We're still trying to work on this case and, and trying to build the case and there's several other loose ends that we need to tie up. And But in court, investigators revealed that they believe Blackwell overpowered Blair, took his sidearm and killed him with it. The 77-year-old deputy served as a school resource officer during the school year and did prisoner escort during the summer. Blackwell was being held for a psychiatric evaluation. The district attorney says he isn't worried about that playing a role in the prosecution of this capital murder case. We're going to treat him just like we do everybody else, fairly and justly. And uh, if uh, there is an issue with his mental state, uh, he'll have the opportunity to be evaluated by uh, a team of doctors at the state hospital. No comment from Blackwell or his court appointed attorney as the suspect was driven past a makeshift memorial for the deputy set up outside the Simpson County Sheriff's Department, a symbol of Blair's impact on a community, perhaps none more than his wife of 37 years and the five great grandchildren who now will have to go on without him. It's something they can't feel. My mom and those kids are just, and this community has, has lost somebody that he's touched everybody's life. While family and friends continue to mourn for the passing of Blair, prosecutors are moving forward in their next step in this case. Joaquin Blackwell has a preliminary hearing June 29th in a capital murder case that if convicted could bring him the death penalty. In Simpson County, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.